hello students welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to discuss in detail about the individual elastomers initially let me discuss about the buna s rubber buna s rubber is also known as styrene butadiene rubber it is one of the most important category of synthetic elastomers that can be synthesized in the laboratory so at once it can also be called as grs that means government rubber of styrene buna s rubber is the first elastomer which is synthesized in the laboratory so here i am going to discuss in detail about the preparation properties and applications of buna s rubber so coming to the preparation of buna s rubber it is the copolymer and can be prepared by the copolymerization of 13 butadiene and styrene so coming to the structure of 13 butadiene it is ch2 double bond ch single bond ch double bond ch2 so it is 13 butadiene so 13 butadiene undergoes copolymerization with styrene styrene means ch2 double bond ch c6 h5 that means benzene nucleus will be present so during copolymerization of 13 butadiene and styrene sodium is used as the catalyst so the copolymerization of 13 butadiene and styrene takes place in the presence of sodium as the catalyst then during the copolymerization here the double bonds initially undergoes cleavage and a new double bond is formed at the single bond position and these two monomers are joined together and hence it results in the formation of buna s rubber so coming to the structure of buna s rubber it is ch2 single bond ch double bond ch single bond ch2 and styrene will be joined here so it is ch2 single bond ch and the benzene nucleus is present so it is buna s rubber it is a copolymer so here na in buna s rubber stands for sodium is used as the catalyst so in this way through copolymerization of 13 butadiene with styrene in the presence of sodium as the catalyst it results in the formation of buna s rubber next coming to the properties of buna s rubber the most important properties of buna s rubber includes it is the strong and tough rubber so buna s rubber is the strong and tough rubber it is having very high chemical resistance at the same time it is having very high load bearing capacity
these are the important properties of buna s rubber with the result it is highly useful in various industries so coming to the applications of buna s rubber this buna s rubber is highly used in automobile industry for the manufacturing of motor tires at the same time it is used in footwear industry for the manufacturing of footwear components shoe soles etc at the same time buna s rubber is also used for the manufacturing of wires and cable insulators these are the few important applications of buna s rubber next let me discuss in detail about the tire call so tire call is also known as polysulfide rubber so coming to the preparation of tire call it can be prepared by the reaction between ethylene chloride and sodium polysulfide so coming to the preparation of tire call it can be prepared by the reaction between ethylene dichloride and sodium polysulfide then it results in the formation of tire call rubber so during the polymerization reaction sodium and chloride will be eliminated as sodium chloride and thus these two monomers will be joined together then coming to the structure of tire call it is ch2 single bond ch2 s single bond s this is the structure of tire call so simply tire call can be prepared by the reaction between ethylene dichloride and sodium polysulfide next coming to the properties of tire call the important properties of tire call generally includes that tire call is impermeable to gases it is having very good electrical resistance that means it is having very good resistance towards the mineral oils oxygen and fuels so tire call is having very good resistance towards minerals oils etc the most important property of tire calls is it is the only rubber which cannot be vulcanized 
so thiacol cannot be vulcanized so it is the soft rubber so thiacol cannot be vulcanized and hence thiacol is the soft rubber with the result coming to the applications of thiacol thiacol is highly useful for the manufacturing of life jackets life boats etc why this thiacol is impermeable to gases with the result the most important application is the manufacturing of life jackets and life boats at the same time thiacol is also used for the manufacturing of gaskets printing rolls etc at the same time it is also highly useful for the manufacturing of gasoline horses these are the important applications of thiacol so the most important application of thiacol is it is highly useful for the manufacturing of life boats and life jackets next we will discuss about the polyurethane polyurethane is also known as foam rubber and it can be prepared by the reaction between diisocyanate and glycol so polyurethane can be prepared by the polymerization of glycol and diisocyanate in the presence of naoh so glycol undergoes polymerization with diisocyanate in the presence of sodium hydroxide as the catalyst so during the formation of polyurethane especially urethane means this polyurethane polymer consists of urethane linkage urethane means o c double bond o nh linkage it is called as urethane linkage and here during the formation of polyurethane this hydrogen will be migrated towards the nitrogen and the double bond present between the nitrogen and carbon undergoes cleavage so during the formation of polyurethane initially the double bond present between nitrogen and carbon undergoes cleavage and with the result the hydrogen present on oh group will be migrated towards the nitrogen so no single atom will be eliminated during this polymerization just hydrogen from oh group will be migrated towards the nitrogen atom so coming to the structure of polyurethane it can be written as o ch2 ch2 o c double bond o nh ch2 single bond ch2 
N H C double bond O. So this polyurethane consists of urethane linkage and this structure will be repeated n number of times and hence it will be called as polyurethane. So coming to the important properties of polyurethane. It is having very good resistance towards oxidation. It is the lightweight and tough elastomer. At the same time, it is having very good chemical resistance. So, these are the important properties of polyurethanes. So, coming to the applications of polyurethanes. The most important application of polyurethanes is they are highly useful for the manufacturing of foams, pillows, mattresses, etc. At the same time, polyurethane is also highly useful in footwear industry and automobile industry. At the same time, this polyurethane is highly useful for the manufacturing of spandex fibers. Spandex fibers are known for their extreme stretchability. So, during the preparation of garments, they will use polyurethane and hence it results in the formation of spandex fibers which are known for their extreme stretchability. This is all about the Buna S rubber, Thiacol and Polyurethane. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.